Welcome back to Data Quality Engineering series. In the last video, we saw how crucial data quality is for making informed decisions. Today, we'll dive into a critical topic, data quality issues and their root causes. Why should you know about this? If you don't understand the problem, there is no way you can address it, right? So let's break down these issues to better understand them. Now, what are the most common data quality issues? They can be duplicate, inaccurate, ambiguous, hidden, inconsistent, stale, and orphaned data. Let's get to what each of these signifies. First one, duplicate data. Companies today are bombarded with data from everywhere. Their own computers, online storage, and constant updates. On top of that, their data might be scattered in different programs and systems. This can lead to a lot of same information being stored in multiple places. For example, imagine having the same customer's phone number listed twice. This can make things confusing for both the customer and the company. Marketing campaigns might miss some people or accidentally contact others too many times. Having duplicate data can also mess up important reports and even lead to problems with creating software that relies on that data. But what are the root causes for the duplicate data? Data silos. When information is stored in separate systems that don't communicate well, the same data can be entered multiple times. Next. Human error. Simple typos or mistakes during data entry can create duplicates. Also, inconsistent data entry. If customer information is entered differently each time, say for example, John Smith versus J. Smith, it might be seen as separate entries even though it is the same person. So that's where duplicate data stems from. Next one, inaccurate data. For some businesses like hospitals, having super accurate data is extremely important, especially during health crisis like COVID-19. If the information is wrong, it's impossible to get a clear picture of what's happening and make the right decisions. The same goes for regular businesses. If customer information is inaccurate, it is difficult to give them the best service and target them with the right marketing campaigns. There are a few reasons why data can be inaccurate. Sometimes people make mistakes when entering wrong information. Also, data can change over time, like an address or phone number. Experts say that a surprising amount of data around 3% every month becomes outdated worldwide. Moving to the next issue, ambiguous data. Not all data problems are about having too much information. Sometimes data can be confusing or unclear. This is called ambiguous data. Here is why data can be ambiguous. Abbreviations. Using abbreviations without explanation can be confusing. For example, CA could mean California or Certified Accountant. Likewise, missing context. Data might be missing important details that clarify what it means. For example, a date might be listed without specifying if it's the start or end date of something. Similarly, inconsistent formatting. Inconsistent formats for dates or addresses can make it difficult to interpret the data correctly. Now let's talk about hidden data. Data is not always easy to find. Sometimes, important information might be buried within other files, documents, or even entire systems that are no longer actively used. This is called hidden data. Here is why data can be hidden. Data silos. Different departments or teams within a company might store their data in separate systems 
that don't communicate well. This can make it difficult for other teams to access and utilize the data. For example, customer data available within the sales team might not be shared with the customer service team. This hinders their ability to create a complete picture of the customer. Similarly, embedded files. Data can also be hidden within documents like spreadsheets or presentations. For instance, a chart might contain additional data points that are not visible in the main view. Legacy systems. Older computer systems might store data in formats that are difficult to access with newer software. These data graveyards can hold valuable information that's simply not being used. Lack of documentation. Without proper documentation, it can be hard to know what data exists, where it's located, and how to access it. Let's see what is inconsistent data. Even when data is found and accessible, it can still be problematic if it's not consistent. This means the same information is presented in different ways throughout the system. For example, a customer's address might be listed as 123 Main ST in one system and 123 Main Street in another. When you are working with multiple data sources, it's almost inevitable to encounter such mismatches in the same information. Data inconsistencies can result in erroneous financial reports impacting decision making. Here is why data can be inconsistent. Different data entry formats. If data is entered in different formats across various systems, example, dates in yyyy mmdd versus mm slash dd slash yyyy measurements in meters versus feet these differences will make it difficult to analyze and compare data accurately missing standards without clear guidelines for how data should be entered and stored inconsistencies are bound to arise for instance, some systems might use abbreviations for states while others spell them out entirely. Manual data updates. If data is updated manually in multiple places, there is a higher risk of inconsistencies creeping in, especially if updates are not done consistently. This can be particularly problematic during data migration or company mergers where information from different sources need to be combined. Lack of data validation. If systems don't have checks in place to ensure data conforms to specific formats or ranges, inconsistencies can easily slip through the cracks. Inconsistent data can lead to inaccurate reports, flawed decision making and wasted resources. Just like data-driven organizations keep a close watch on data consistencies, it's crucial to reconcile these inconsistencies to ensure your data remains trusted and valuable for powering your analytics. Next comes stale data. Data is not static. Information can change over time, such as customer addresses, phone numbers or product preferences. However, data does not always get updated regularly. This can lead to stale data, which is information that is no longer current. Here is why data can become stale. Lack of update processes. If there are no clear procedures in place for updating data as it changes, it will inevitably become outdated. Data silos. Information stored in isolated systems might not be easily accessible for updates. Customer churn. When customers leave or stop interacting with a company, their data may not be deactivated or flagged as outdated. 
stale data can lead to misleading insights, ineffective marketing campaigns, and frustrated customers. By implementing regular data refresh processes, companies can ensure their information remains accurate and up-to-date. Last but not the least data quality issue, orphan data. Data does not exist in a vacuum. Often, pieces of information are linked together to provide context and meaning. For example, a customer record might be linked to their purchase history. However, sometimes these links can get broken, leaving behind orphan data. Here is why orphan data can occur. Deleted parent records. Imagine deleting a customer profile from our system. If the system doesn't properly remove or update any associated data, like their purchase history, that information becomes orphaned. It's still stored somewhere, but it's no longer connected to the original record it belonged to and becomes unusable. Incomplete data migration. When moving data between systems, some information might get lost or left behind. This can result in orphan data points that are no longer linked to the original source. Talking about system changes, if the way data is stored within a system changes, previously linked data might become orphaned if the connections are not updated properly. Orphaned data can waste storage space, clutter databases, and make it difficult to get a complete picture of the information you have. By regularly reviewing and cleaning up your data, you can minimize the risk of orphan data and ensure your information remains well organized and usable. To wrap it up, data quality issues can cripple businesses across various industries. From inaccurate reports to frustrated customers, the root causes spanning people, processes, and technology can have a significant downstream impact. But the good news is, by understanding these common pitfalls, you can unlock the value of your data and make informed decisions that drive success. Thanks for joining. See you in the next one.